Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Argos Anonymous. I am Argos. Melvin, my patron Melvin, has tasked me with the task of opening this delicious, delightful, sealed tops. 96 gram, no foam box of Series Zero at MetaZoo. Boop. Oh, well, slightly under 96. Anyway, you get that. Melvin also has some Nightfall theme decks that he's going to share with us, which is super awesome. We're going to open those things too. And just kind of dive into them and enjoy some of these awesome Nightfall theme decks that came out. People have said these theme decks are more playable, like right out of the box, than the Kryptonation theme decks, which I haven't confirmed yet. But that's what I keep hearing, uh, which is cool, which is and makes it a really nice grab for new players. So hopefully, Melvin, you do enjoy those. And thank you for giving us this fantastic opportunity. Let's just grab Sting and have some fun and get you a, a Parallel Hollow Mothman, my man. Or a pizza bird. We've got we've had a couple of uh, hollow frogmen, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And uh, I think we've had a couple of pizza birds that are non-hollow. We've had we've had good stuff. There's your no foam box. We have had some good stuff, Melvin. So let's just cross our fingers and remain hopeful for you, sir. And moving in, moving into your pack. So by now. It is, uh, we are really approaching, look at me just like turn and turn and turn, really, really rapidly approaching Kryptonation 2nd Edition. So let's, let's move this already to the bottom. Okay, cool. And then we'll just go like that. Okay, cool. Off, off to the races. We have our Rump to Fusel, our Lakeworth Monster, Agro Pelter. You know what we could do? We could open tops and then a theme deck? <gasps> no. Too crazy? Too bold? Maybe we'll do it. We'll see how much time we've wasted. Shadow peoples and a lava bear. We started to see, I think we've seen a lot of these commons now. Sewer alligator. We've got another Gumbaroo. He's going to blow up in our faces. The card that must not be named. Mantis man coming in for the giant sweet affectionate hug. Tripadero's cool. He's just going to wind one up and drop it. Giant salamander. We got a parallel of him too. Not too long ago. Terror bird. 10,000 BC. Prehistoric crazy bird. Going to eat you up. If you've ever played Ark, you know these quite well. Ding Bell, everyone's favorite little dinger with our Christmas promo. Still here. Ding, ding, ding. That's so sparkly. Man, I love that. Look at that twinkle on those patented things. Do you see there's like Christmas trees on this too? If you look if you look close, there's like snowflakes and... Where's a tree? There's a tree. Look at that with a little star on top. That custom foiling is going to make these really hard to counterfeit over time. When every single release of MetaZoo has like different custom foiling, it is going to make it difficult um, as a really significant extra layer of difficulty anyway for counterfeiters, which is really nice long term for collectors. Matt Locks just chewing on himself. Snow Snake, guy's favorite little snake. Snakey boy. Bat Squatch with the beer. Into the Silvers, Melvin. So fast. What do you think he's looking at? You know, the sad thing is, you know what he's thinking about behind those sad, watery eyes? He's thinking about himself. They're chronically depressed. Very sad. Very sad. The, the plight of the dear squonk. Salem's witches. Kind of looks like a nice witch, but I don't know. The eyes really do not add a lot of sincerity to that. Hopkinsville goblin. Enfield monster from Alice in Wonderland. Into the golds. With a Snallygaster, with a Call of Cthulhu, crazy octopus Snallygaster. Big fan of that. Oh, sweet. Oh, what a good finish. Mothman. Cool. Awesome. Paul Melvin with the Mothman. That's that's great. And what else are we going to get for you, Melvin? Hey and a babe. Dude, your golds are coming out. People love Babe the Blue Ox. That's so cool. That's got to be from St. Paul. And a ghost train. Stop it. What are you doing? No, Bemidji, Minnesota. That's right. Quite a few Minnesota cryptids, actually. Ghost train. Wow. What a good quad. That's cool. That's going to be a feel-good box. I'm excited for you, man. All right. Quantum power. And some chapter two cover art. And contracted. And young power. Huggin the Molly. Next one is the Hollow. What's it gonna be, dude? What's it gonna be, Melvin? Melvin, do you know? Do you know? Melvin, do you know? Oh, cool. Hopkinsville. I haven't seen that one. So, see how dark the border is? It's because it's matching. They're trying to match the artwork. It's got like a little bit of purple to it. 
It's just kind of a dark hollow. That's cool. All right, congratulations, Melvin, on your Hopkinsville Goblin and your Mothman, Babe, Snally, and Ghost Train lineup. Very cool. You know what I think we should do? I think we should dive into a theme deck and just like kind of just carry this forward. Let's uh let's get your tops situated. And then we'll open up a theme deck. And the only question really is which theme deck are we gonna open for you, my friend? Because you know, opening five theme decks in one video is a little it's a little bit of a challenge. So I think we're gonna dive into this and what if I see nothing of, gosh, most of them, I've kind of been saving it. You know what? Let's open Manta, the Flying Manta Ray Nightfall theme deck. What do you think, Melvin? Are we gonna do it? Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna do it. We're gonna dive in and we're gonna give Sting, Sting, hungers. Hey, do you guys recognize the sword on this play mat? Did you, did you notice that? Did you notice that? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you know it's an authentic Argos Anon playmat. Patrons are going to get that, actually. So that's cool. When they order Cryptonation 1st Edition, they're going to get... Or 2nd Edition, they're going to get playmats. Custom Argos Anon playmats. It's kind of cool. I like, to, I like to provide those fun little bonuses for uh, for patrons and and stuff like that. Fun little, Fun little, unique little things. So we commission artwork, and we just have some fun with that. So... All right, so here is our here's our setup. Well, we open this Manta Ray thing. We have what? We have one Nightfall booster pack, and we should have a promo and a pre-con deck. Oh, cool. So you have your Manta promo. Very nice. Nice man. I'll leave him sealed for you. So your Flying Manta Ray promo. Cool. And then what do you have now? Oh, a playmat? So every, every single theme deck has like a paper playmat. And then they should have a pre-constructed deck. I don't think... Oh, and they should have a coin too, I think. So that's cool. So here's like a little play mat. He's like a little one. You know, with a tiny little arena. But that's okay. Let's... Uh, eh, we'll fold it up later. There we go. Good enough. And so there should be a... Yep, there's our coin. So each one has a custom coin. So this is our Manta Ray coin. Oh, it's got the crab on it? That's interesting. I kind of would have thought it had the ray on it. Oh well. If you want the ray coin, you have to buy the NFT. Apparently, this is your first edition little crab coin, and then you got a rule book. Cool, 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 cool. And another one of these. So this is kind of fun because you have like one to play, and then you have one for the collection. So let's open the booster pack first. Yeah, and then we'll dive into the actual contents of the theme deck, and just kind of enjoy that. So. Going into here, what do we want to see? Wendigo? Almost anything. We have our Axe Handle Hound. We have our Water Baby of Massacre Rock. He's pretty fantastic there. And our Bandage Man of Cannon Beach. We have our Static Wand. I love a lot of the artwork in Nightfall has been on point. They really did a nice, they did a great job. Crystallize Light, Dover Demon. And a Reverse Hollow Dover Demon, Double Dover Demon pack, and a Jack Frost. Cool, that's cool, man. Congratulations, that's nice. Should we, uh, should we sleeve the, sleeve the Hollow? Let's do it. Even though he's an RH, we'll sleeve him just to show some respect. Respect the Dover, and we'll put those over here, and then we'll dive into this. So these theme decks now have a little pull tab, huh? So that's new, I think. I think the Cryptonation. First editions did not. So this is kind of a convenient way to open these. Yeah, look at that. Cool, man. Thank you, Melvin. I haven't actually opened one of these yet. I've been kind of waiting. So we have another hollow, so that's cool. Oh, Chessie is in here. Oh, that's right. They reprinted the Obnoxious Nine. Wow, so cool new Chessie artwork by Isaac Sky Lee. Uh, wow, multiple Chessies. Oh, okay, so you have three, three Chessies. Wow, that is interesting. Okay. Hmm. Do you think this will affect the price of the Cryptonation First Edition Obnoxious 9? You know, maybe. Or maybe not because they're still, it's still good. Those are going to be still the OG. Second to Kickstarter. It's going to be Kickstarter and First Edition like for all time, basically. And then all these other variants will just kind of drift away into the wind. And collectors will drift towards those Kickstarter and First Edition sets. Probably. All right. The Banished Man of Cannon Beach. 
And we have this guy so insane. Bloody Bones. Is he water? What an interesting beastie to be a water beastie. But I guess we're all we're all mostly water, right? <laughs> Isn't that right? And there's our coin. So there's the culprit of the coin art. Is our uh, our fine crustacean. Cool. Huh, that's cool. How many him to get? Just two of them. So it doesn't automatically fill up the number per spell book. Interesting. All right. Water baby. We could have six per spell book. They gave us... So they gave us like five of those. Cool. Dampen. That's a counter spell. Oh, cool. This can be played at any time. So it's like an instant or interrupted magic. Cost two and targets just a counter spell. Wow. And it just costs two. So that is legit a counter spell. And it can counter any spell. Oh, but not a beastie. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, fine. Well, Flood the Earth is fantastic. Wow, the theme deck comes with Flood the Earth? Because this is a fantastic card. I didn't know that. They're really putting good cards in the theme decks. Chessy with the 09 counter spells, Flood the Earth, bunch of golds. Yeah, they hook it up. Mermaid, Shimmer, Torrential River, times three. Love the artwork on that one. New Beginnings is an insane card. Everybody draws a ton. You have to have a New Beginning, so that's very cool. Wow, Mermaid Scale, so they have an Aura Fact. Reprint. Two of those, jeez. Wow, Every is every theme deck going to have all that good stuff? I guess I did not... I did not know that. Let's leave your hollow and just go into... Wow, now I want to open the other ones and see what kind of good stuff you get. That's cool, man. Well, you know what? How much time are we at? Oh, 12 minutes. I think we'll save it. I think we'll just kind of tuck this away and then ship it off to you. And we'll save these other decks for another for another video and just send you, Melvin, your tops and your flying manta ray. And then we'll open these and send you those. So that'll be fun. Hmm, man. What if we open next in the next video? The owl? Probably and the Elder Mat locks cool. And then we'll do no, we gotta split those up. Well yeah, Reptoy's pretty cool too. Alright, that's all I got for now. If you have found us from out there in the interweb and you're still watching, why not join us? We are everything MetaZoo, up to date accurate news and information, product openings, market news, crazy shenanigans, analysis, fire, sword fights, legendary battles of bandits and, and guns and gun smoke and all kinds of stuff. If that sounds sounds like something you would like, then subscribe. And that's what you'll get. This is Argos. Signing out.